As the dandelion floats across the grass, Josh and Adam slink across the ground, carried by their robotic back hair. Kick it! Like a blast of macchiato buckshot to the face. <laughs> I'm Josh. I'm Adam. Welcome to the Sauce Mac Cool Tools of Doom and Stuff. Thank you, my Smoth Mealer special recipe for curry chicken neck and feet cheese stew. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Thank you, Smoth Mealer. Um. Now? Cool Tools of Doom and Stuff. Design. Is your current dish rack just an eyesore on your countertop? I don't use dishes, so I don't need a rack. Fine. Spruce up your dish drying with the High and Dry by Black and Blum. This clever dish rack features a wave-like structure and a flip-up drainage spout inspired by modern architectural structures. Been on Amazon for $45. British Airways has teamed up with DesignWorks, a design firm to develop the first smart luggage tags oh my gosh. that will be compatible with smartphones. Amazing. Rumored wow. to be using Bluetooth, the tags will allow passengers to use the British Airways app to update tag information information once they check in online. The tags will dramatically cut down baggage check-in time, making sure you can get to that terminal and enjoy your tea and crumpet ever <laughs> sooner. Keep an eye out for it uh, from British Airways. Applications. Ah, morning for iPad is the new bedside breakfast table app that makes sure you get your day off on the right foot. Featuring a customizable dashboard, a user can sync their to-do lists, calendars, weather, huh? stocks, traffic huh? info, and news huh? stories all huh? in one screen with a slick and clean interface. Get it in the iTunes store for three bucks. Bike Doctor is the new app for iOS and Android that puts a bike mm. mechanic in your pocket, which is Ouch. a little bit awkward, but it, apparently it works. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> yes, the Bike Doctor app aims to save you a few trips and even a few dollars from uh, to your local bike store. Featuring over 42 guides for common bike maintenance tasks, mm. including adjusting and replacing brakes, lubricating a chain, adjusting your headset, ah. and or adjusting ah. your gears. All that, get it for iOS or Android for five bucks. DIY. Uh, uh, are you tired of buying bottles and cans but uh, love to drink that beer? I drink lots of root beer, that's for sure. Well, look no further than this kegerator instructable by Instructables user Tom Hargrave. This step-by-step -step guide takes you through how to convert a compact refrigerator into your own personal tap station for that upcoming 4th of July BBQ. Oh yeah, check it out on Instructables right now. Josh. Yes? You need a new toolbox. Bah! I could <laughs> always use Always, my friend. We always need more toolboxes. Always. And this Japanese toolbox project from Make is the perfect project for getting your shop or closet organized. Featuring a simple minimalist design, uh, this box can be easily customized to fit whatever you need to throw in it uh, for just a few bucks. Check it out at makezine.com as usual. Rock awesomeness. Adam, mm -hmm. is there anything better than a squirt gun fight on a hot July <laughs> afternoon? Uh, very few things, my friend. But a 3D printed uh, squirt gun fight whoop. might <laughs> take the cake. What? Uh, Thingiverse user Do Dower Daver Daver has uploaded yeah. what will surely be the coolest squirt gun of the season at your next squirt gun fight, either at home or in the office. After you wait all those hours <laughs> to print it out, check it out at Thingiverse.com. And finally, folks, this is big, drumroll yes. please, Lego yes. the movie. Yes. <gasps> yes, folks. You heard that right. Lego is unleashing their block building wrath with their first feature length film featuring a cast of Pretty much every Lego man and woman ever built. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> set to release in 2014. You can get a sneak peek on YouTube right now. Yep, go check it out. Smoth, what do you think about all this, buddy? I have a kegerator. Well, actually, it's yeah. better than a kegerator. It's called a meat orator. It sits <laughs> in my living room and has three inch feeder hoses that connect directly <laughs> to my stomach pouches. While I watch my cartoons all day, I never get meat freeze. It's like brain freeze except for meats. I never have that because I never have to get up. Wait, stomach pouches? Mr. Adam, what's on Cat Junkie? We are currently working on an interactive iBook that's going to go along with our SolidWorks 101 series. Whoa. Dude, we are stoked about that. Uh, it's going to feature interactive models, step-by-step -step instructions, and over 30 video lessons for download with one Price. This is going to rock really hard, but uh, if you can't wait for that, 
Make sure to go check that out at uh, cadjunkie.com slash SolidWorks101, uh, and it'll be available there uh, when it's ready. Mm-hmm. And what's on Engineer vs. Designer? No stomach pouches, but this week we talk with GrabCat CEO Hardy Maybaum and Director of Mechanical Design Products at Autodesk. Prabhakar Mugurupan about the new partnership between Autodesk and GrabCAD. Check that out on iTunes or at engineersdesigner.com. And there you have it, folks. Send your cool tool finds to smoth at solidsmack.com. Sign up for a newsletter there in the sidebar as usual. Or ask us a question in the comments or via email about design, 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 tech, or anything else. Smoth would love to help. Um, I'm never quite sure what all of my stomach pouches are for. I know that I have at least three of them. One for chicken, one for cow-based meats of all kinds, and one for various sea creatures, including but not limited to mollusks, sponges, anemone, and virtually any other typically non-edible sea creature. I do have other pouches for other purposes, but it's hard to tell which ones are which. Mainly because I eat so much stuff. My Smoth Mealer Honey Bunny is going to have a little Smoth Mealer soon. It's kind of a big secret. But when I told somebody, they asked me if I had a little Smoth Mealer in my belly. And I said the only baby I have in my belly is the one that I ate this morning for breakfast. A production of EBD Media.